Today marks the first day of operations for the Marikina and Antipolo stations of the LRT Line 2. Let's get more details from Gerard de la Peña, who is now reporting live from the Antipolo station. Gerard, good afternoon. What are you seeing? Uh, how's the situation over there? Charles, today is the first day of operations of the two new stations of the LRT Line 2, where passengers complained of some inconveniences. The operation started at around 4.30 in the morning, where the Light Rail Administration or LRTA noted good demand. Some passengers that we talked to said this is very convenient as they don't have to take another ride coming from Santolan, going to Marikina or Antipolo. The LRTA also doesn't charge additional fares for now for the Santolan to Marikina or Antipolo leg of the trip. But problems arose come rush hour. Lines got long at the stations due to passenger volume. LRTA spokesman attorney Hernando Cabrera said there is only one train that shuttles passengers between Santolan and Antipolo. This would mean that passengers from Antipolo and Marikina will have to get off at Santolan and board another train that would take them to their destination. Trains can't go straight as signaling systems aren't integrated as of yet. That's why some passengers opted to just get off the station and take other modes of transportation as they were told that waiting time at the platform could take about 20 to 30 minutes. The LRTA also said headway or interval between trains in other stations could be as long as 10 minutes as there are only 5 trains running between Santolan and Recto and there must be at least 10 to maintain a headway of 5 minutes. Cabrera said refurbished trains are slated to arrive sometime next year while new trains are expected to arrive in about 3 years. Just, just to manage the, public expect, the public's expectation, this scenario could drag on for the next two weeks. So uh, uh, commuters who opt to take these stations should be here early to avoid any inconveniences. Charles. Thanks for those updates. That was Gerard de la Peña reporting live from the LRT to Antipolo station.